we're back with another Money Origami original. Originals. Because <laughs> this box might not be original, probably. But, um, you know, I discovered how to close it in this way. And it's a lot like the locking lid box, but it doesn't lock. It stays together, closed really well. And it works just fine with a half sheet of paper. Half a sheet of square origami paper like this one. Or uh, one dollar. Or any bill you want to make it out of. So, uh, and then we're going to have this other one coming up real soon where... This is just to uh, prove the concept, but man, that is really cool, and that is definitely going to be an original, very cool new type box that's coming up real soon. Maybe to late tonight or tomorrow, hopefully, that'd be really cool. All right, let's get started on this one. So you fold in half, but don't crease it, because you don't want any creases right here, really, on the front and back. So just fold it in half. And you can pinch the end and the middle and the other end. And then fold the sides in to the center line. So everybody can do that. Now I went ahead and did that off cam so you don't have to see me lining it up and everything. Now I didn't get mine exactly in the middle, but as long as they're about even, this, this box is a little bit forgiving, so. But actually, if they're a little more narrow at this end than this end, it makes it close easier, but not tighter. So if you want it real tight, you just make these super precision, and then crease these down really well. And then you open it up. And you fold in the corners. Now just the main thing here is to line them up good. They don't have to be super tightly creased. Okay, just do it on two corners on one end. And they look pretty good. This is a lot like, well I said the locking lid box, but also a lot like the big old bag of money. It's the same middle part of the box is the big old bag of money which I'll put a link up there that is really cool it's a little tiny bank uh, fits dimes and pennies if you try real hard pennies fit in so what you do is you fold this side up to match those edges those corners it's our marker and get it nice and straight and crease really well right there. So that's one hinge of the box. And then you unfold, unfold, unfold. Turn it to the other side and fold those corners in. And yep, this is right now it's exactly the same as the big old bag of money in the locking lid box but you know that one's kind of a lot of trouble to close but you know it's for locking shut so it's pretty cool if you don't want to open the box very often so we're doing the same thing as we did on the other side line it up really well and make a real nice crease and then open these back up All right, now we've got to train the center part of the paper. And so, fold this back down and recrease it with the dollar recreasing is good on the same spot. So then you just you lift up this little vertical fold that we made and bring it over to this edge. And don't let any kinks get in there. So, a bill that's not all creased in the center works best. 
and this is the, this is just really a simple easy box really I mean this part's a little bit tricky but once you learn how to do this fold part in the center you can apply it to a lot of other folds that you might make so you just do that on both sides and see on the inside we've got a little angle C just bringing the crease over to the edge and then uh, on that one I like to reach in there with a flat blade screwdriver whoops and give it a good crease because that helps you get it to lay it down later so. So those are really sturdy. Hang on. I needed a little bit more room so I don't bump the camera. So then you open it back up. And now you do the same thing with the other two creases. So now we're going to make an X right here in the middle. So you lift that up. Now if that crease isn't there so good, just redo it. If you can't see it. And lift that crease up. And bring it over to the long crease. Right there. Nice and square. Pinch that. Do the other side. Nice and square. Pinch that. And now I'm going to crease them with the screwdriver all the way. Really sharp. Now mine's a little off there because I didn't make those first two folds that great. <laughs> but it's still going to be good. But the closer you get everything to be the same on both sides the better so now how this part works is you lift up one side and while you've got that little angle there you pull it down right in the middle where that point is of the X as you fold this side up and there's a triangle there and then you lay another triangle on top see See right there? Now, if you're not seeing enough in this video, there's those two other videos. The locking lid box and the big old bag of money. And I'll put them both up in the card in the upper right corner. If you click over there on the video. And I do the screwdriver because I want the creases really sharp in there. Now do the other side. And make sure that the same side that's on the inside of the first one is on the inside when you do the second one. So that means this point, this, see this one's got to go inside temporarily, even though this is the one that's inside in the end. And you've got that little. triangle there so you have it you put back the first fold see and then you pull this down actually that's the opposite <laughs> you put it like this because we need it on the inside that temporarily stuff was wrong instruction there <laughs> oh well that happens to me so now I'm holding this and it pulled down right here in the center. See right there. As I pull this side up, it makes that nice little folded triangle in there. And now I'm creasing it down with the screwdriver right there. See right there. Mm 
Okay, so there's the top and bottom of the box. Now you open it up and you go back to these first two triangles. Hang on. And you see the, the remnant of the first two little folds right there, that little marker and that little marker. So we want to fold straight down along that line. Yeah, just like the other videos, I think we should have done this earlier. And this wasn't in the way. But make sure these lines line up. This crease lines up on its crease itself. That way you know you got it nice and straight across. And then you open up these little triangles. We don't need those folded anymore. So reverse them a little bit to get the crease out. Go to the other side. Do the same thing. Hold it over right on the edge of those triangles. And line up that crease. Can't even see it. So, like I said, this might not be original, but uh, it's a real nice little box that opens and closes really well. So I was just making sure it's lined up on the crease by bending in a little bit. before I give it the stern full crease. So now this is where you really would have wanted those to be nice and straight across, folded into the center in the original fold so that these edges stick up the same amount. So this one's just a tiny bit off. But so now you just, you just do that same thing where you're uh, lifting up this edge and you bring it over to this crease and you let that point go into the center and just pinch that and then crease it inside. And then you bring this one up and bring it towards that edge. Crease that down. And it's just, it's really a pretty simple box. And I do the same thing on the other side. I'll skip for that one. Now, like I said, even though it may not be original, I haven't seen one of these little boxes, so. Now, the way it closes, see, now that just doesn't work, see. But what you do is you, you fold these corners into the inside on the part that's going to be your bottom. So these are on the inside, so everything's on the inside here. And then on the top, you fold these points into the corner. And then crease those really good. That that little tiny short fold right there. Here 
here's the other one. And then fold those into the center and crease those down really good so they point in. This one too. Now yeah, look at that, mine's a little sloppy. But there, see, it's tucked under the part. The corner we fold, the point we folded into the corner is tucked on the inside. And you crease that up. And so the reason is now those points fit in between here and here. You can crease these down a little bit better. As you tuck this part, see, into this edge right here. Well, this goes on the outside, I mean. This, this one goes on the inside. And mine, it's just a little bit too wide at the bottom here. So I'm just going to have to move this fold in a little bit. And that was just because I didn't take the best amount of time. Remember, I had a big gap here. So it's fine still. Though. And then, see, that fits with these these points go right in these angles as you put this edge right along this edge here and it holds it closed pretty good now just do a better job on it and make every fold exactly precision and you'll have a really nice box way better than mine which, you know, really want you to fold them better than I do in the videos. But that stays closed pretty good. It's a real nice little box for a gift or decoration. Uh, for giving a gift or a box, you can keep something in. Or you can put uh, change in there for a tip. Some quarters or something. Leave it on the table. And... You know, it's really simple, but it does close really nicely, and it stays together well. So that's what I want to show you, and you can easily make it out of the paper. Model 2. So, But now, the next box is really going to be something cool. Because, uh, let's, let's wreck this one. I mean, look, it stays together. Super cool. And... I'm going to have to really do a precision fold job on that one. All right, so we'll see you on the next one. And I hope you subscribe for the uh, super cool box coming up. I don't even want to say the name yet, but I do got a name, I believe. And I haven't checked out the whole thing, so these things take a little bit of time to develop. But we'll get it out real soon. All right, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Like, share, subscribe if you would. That's great. If not, I will. All right, take care.